Hi, my name is Steve Maher. I'm a physical therapist and the ergonomics guy. And I want to talk to you for a minute about gaming and wrist pain. And what we see is when people set up their system, they spend a lot of money on the processor and the monitors and that sort of thing, but they don't put a lot of time and effort into setting up the workstation to minimize the risk of injury. And what we see is typically people use a standard height desk, which is usually 30 inches high. Um, that's the standard because Desks are designed for writing, so you don't have to bend over too far to write. The problem is when you're mousing, they're too high and it forces you to reach up. And once you start reaching up, you start looking for support and you tend to put more pressure into your wrist. And that's a problem because it tends to compress the nerves that run through your wrist. So here is your wrist. Um, on the pinky side, you have the ulnar nerve that comes into your ring and little finger. On the thumb side, you have your median nerve that comes into these first two fingers, okay? And the thing about those nerves is they don't like being pressed on and they don't like your wrist being extended for a long period of time. If your desk is too high, Right? You start to sit back into your chair, which effectively lowers your elbow. Now you're reaching up and you tend to put your carpal tunnel right on this sharp edge of the desk and then you're trying to mouse. And so every time you move the mouse, you're grinding into those nerves. And that can cause a couple things. It can cause numbness into your thumb and first two fingers. Okay, these guys. And that is carpal tunnel. But what we see much more of is compression of this bone here. So go to your pinky finger come down right to the corner of your hand, you'll feel that bump and you can actually wiggle it. Okay, that's called your pisiform. It's one of the eight bones that make your wrist. Um, but just on the inside is that ulnar nerve. And so what we see is people will plant their wrist and pivot on that bone that compresses the nerve causing numbness in these two fingers. So the way that you avoid that is sit higher in your chair so that when you're mousing, there's not as much compression on your wrist and not as much extension. You can think about getting a wrist pad so that there's a little bit more padding there. There's not as much um, sort of direct force into the carpal tunnel. If the mouse pad that comes with the, the gel pad here isn't accurate enough, isn't good enough, what you can do is get one of these little beanbag things. I think I got this at Walgreens. Um, and it just sits on the desk. So you can use a really sensitive pad for your mousing, but you have something that still protects your wrist, keeps it in a nice neutral position and helps to distribute that pressure on your wrist. So when you're gaming, think about your wrist, sit a little higher, get a pad so that you're not putting pressure directly into that carpal tunnel and don't grind on that pisiform, protect those nerves. It's going to make you much faster and much more accurate and make gaming a lot more fun. For more information, give us a call or contact us online, site solutions at hotmail.com or the ergonomics guy. Thank you very much.